we're in a place called Real World, which is irony because it's, it's the most unreal place in the world. We don't even know why we're here this week. We just felt we deserved it but because we've recorded most of the album at, at our own studio. They have a, an amazing selection of gear here, as you can imagine. Yeah, you can just do things that you couldn't do necessarily at the racket club. There's good drum sound here, so it, it may well be, it's always worth coming here to record a bit of drums. Even as we speak, Ian's recording some drums on his own. So we're experimenting with putting drums on last. I mean, what, what Mike does is, from all the jams, we put together an arrangement, or Mike does, and then the band work on it. And um, more often than not, whatever happens, the drum tracks are there. And if we come down here and, and nothing happens, kind of doesn't matter because the drums are there. You know, they're, they're recorded already. So all we try and do is, um, the last few days I've gone in in the mornings and just played along to the tracks in the in the room here, which is a lovely room. Acoustically, it's, it's a really nice room for drums. And it's quite unique because it's just one big room with everyone in it. Even Mike's in it, you know, the desk's there, it's just everyone's in there. But the drum sounds really nice, so the thing we're trying to do is to see if I can better some of the drum tracks and uh, have the real world drum sound. I think the main thing is, about being here, is how it affects your attitude. You know, you can record anywhere, to be, to, you know, to be honest. You, most people would not be able to tell the difference. I would say almost everybody would be able to tell the difference, including the band, between stuff that's recorded here or recorded at the racket club. But what it does is when we come here, it brings us together, the five of us, you know, we're like, we spend so much time, you know, going to the studio for a few hours and then going home, we've got our separate lives, but coming here, it reminds us that we're a band and that the five of us, you know, we sat around the, we sit around the dinner table and we eat and we have fun together, we laugh and we, you know, we all, we, I think we constantly marvel at the fact that we're all still friends. We're here all day and, you know, we, we have dinner, we come, come back into the studio after dinner or, you know, we're here in the morning, even if we're not all working at the same time, you know, you're part of it. It's, and it's quite rare these days for us to be like that because when I'm recording my parts for this album at home, I'm actually literally doing it at home and there's, there's no interaction with anybody, you know. So I think it, it, it helps, the, helps glue the band together. This environment is how I always imagine being in a band, us against the world, and uh, don't think about anything else because we're down here and it's just the band. And we've had a really good, uh, as usual, you know, it's been really productive. I bet you, I can eat two of these quickly and you can eat one of them. I bet you're right. I started late though. <laughs> it's, it's an incredible place. I mean, it's, it's unique in the world. Uh, you know, a, a testament to Peter Gabriel's genius and, and insanity, really very easy when you go into a place like Abbey Road or some of the other big London studios to feel intimidated and you then get that sense here it's, it's become maybe because it's so large and, and, and open with that kind of aspect there with the, the lake and the swans <laughs> swimming, swimming past but it's it's a very chilled and um, very conducive to the creative mindset I think.